Now, throughout the winter, I'm obviously going to be doing quite a few requests, and the one I got just recently was for the junction shrimp. Now, the, the junction shrimp is a tube fly. Well, you can tie it in a, as a... I've got two or three patterns, actually, but I've got tied in a double hook. It's slightly different, obviously, being on a double hook. But basically, it's much the same idea. And this is just a basic tube. No flash in this one. I'll put flash in the next just to show you. It's got a nice bright red head, uh, orange and white buck tail. It's really simple. Now this fly, uh, the junction pool and the, the river tweed. Now the, the, one of the gillies is a, a gentleman called uh, Gavin Brown. Gavin, I think, I'm sure Gavin came up with this fly. So basically it was one of the gillies who's been there for many, many years. He uh, came up with this pattern. So. But anyway, what I'm, the tube I'm going to use, you can use copper tubes or uh, brass. This is a brass like tube to take it off. To show you, this is a, it's a 25mm. It's called a T-tube. Uh, Sean Stanton version, this one. Now there's no sleeve in the inside. Now, you have got the sleeving there. If you want to put sleeving into it, it's easy to do. But I tie it without the sleeving in and then I can add it in later. So. This is just a broken pin, this used to be longer, it actually broke. But what I do is, uh, I use that just basically to strengthen the hold. If you look here, I'll just hold it up. So basically I put the tube on, set it on the top, so it's right at the very edge of the, it's the HMH uh, tube fly adapter, and I just tighten up with a wee screw at the bottom. And that holds it solid, so it's perfect for uh, tying the tubes. So I'm going to start the thread at the end of the tube. Now the, these tubes have got this flange at the end that makes it very easy to get the stop the thread when you're tying materials in it doesn't fall off the edge. So what I'm going to do is control the thread turns using the waist piece. I'm going to come down just slightly over halfway to this point here. It's a very easy tube to tie. So break away your waist piece. Now I've got Got my hot orange bucktail, nice and warm. Now this time, well, this is that's the size. I mean, that you in the this time of the year, you can still fish the the tweed. Uh, the season runs to the end of November, so but you need a bigger fly in this at this point, depending on how how low the water is, or how warm or how warm it is. So, so anyway, we've got the bucktail. Now I'm not going to stack it because it's got that there's got a nice taper. Sometimes I will stack it. It just depends on how good the, the bucktail is. But this one has a nice taper, so I'm happy to just to tie that straight on. Now at least the length of the tube over the back, but you can go a wee touch longer. Now I want to go just a wee touch longer. So you're looking just about one and a half around about that. So I'm going to set this on the top. Now the way I rotate or get it round, very easy. I just Keep the thread tight and encourage the hair to come round with the thread all the way. Two or three turns to tighten up. Now obviously the, the adapter's getting in the way just to show you that, but I'll show you what it looks like. Just check it is all the way round. That's fine. Now you've got all this waste here. Now what I like to do is just basically take my thread up. Just to hold it like this. Then I trim it. It's much easier to trim this way. Just watch your thread there. Just trim it the length of the body. And it wax my thread. It's just keeping it all together. And then I start to come back down. And way back down we tie in. This is a, a medium tinsel. It's a Lagerton tinsel, medium to large. You can use an oval tinsel if you wish. I like to use the flat tinsel. So, nice and tight all the way down. Now you could put flash in the tail here, but I actually like it under the white wing in front. So, just leave that at the back. So we've got black floss. There's two lengths of black floss here. Catch this on. Now when you're tying the bigger flies, I prefer to put the floss on a spool. You'll save a lot, uh, you'll not waste as much. 
but I'll just keep it with the strands here. I take this all the way up to about maybe two or three mil or so from the, the end of the tube, and then we just bring the floss up nice and tight. Oops, just get a little bit short on one of them, so I'm just gonna. And this is, you wouldn't have this problem here with running out just about if you had it on the bobbin. These bobbin holders, I'll just show you. This bobbin holder, this is a Tiemco, it's, they're called the Heavy Duty, but when I first bought these, they were called Floss bobbin holders. You could actually put a floss on, like a uni floss. Let's make sure that's secure. Got wax on my thread. Bring my tinsel rib up. Now, this is proper tinsel, and I like to see the tinsel. So you're looking around about four to five turns or so. And then what you do is make sure you tie it off first. Because it's tinsel, you've got to be careful because it could cut your cut your thread. And then I usually keep the thread tight, bend and back away there. So, see a neater cut if you do that. Be quick check, that's fine. Now the flash, I'm just going to use. This is a mirror flash in orange. Now you you could use whatever you like. Now I'm only going to take a couple of strands. Take two strands out. Very easy, just to add this on. So you're looking, I like it the length of this, right to the, the end of the orange. So I've got two strands, I catch them on my side. And I go down towards the, the end of the tube, just bring over the flash and come back up. And then keeping a hold of the two ends, trim it right at the very end. It's as simple as that. Never, it's obviously never going to pull out, so now with the white bucktail. Yeah, and this is just checking it. When you buy a bucktail, it's just if you can get through the, the tails, you'll find one that suits yourself. Now, I have used other hairs, I've used Arctic Runner at times and the smaller ones, uh, which works really well. It's a bit much softer fiber. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to stack this so. Put it into the stacker. So the first thing you do is make sure to cut it towards the cut ends, make sure there's no fluff there. Put it, put it tips into the stacker. And then tap on your desk. There we are. So you got obviously they're nice and straight. Now the length of the white, the bucktail is the length of the orange. So we check the length and it's there. And then we tie that on. Again, just make sure you wax your thread. I'm going to encourage the bucktail to come round with the thread. There's a broken end there, I'm going to take it away. So we just basically bring the thread up beside the hair and then we just encourage it using your finger all the way around. Comes to the other side, do that, just encourage it again. Keeping the thread tight, but do two or three turns first. And keep the, ted, the tension on the thread, don't let that go. See how it's going to sit. Just check where we are. You want to see the, the body. You don't want to not see the, 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 the black in the silver rib. I like to see that. If you're going to put it on, make sure you can see it. So anyway, then we take our time and trim away, if we're happy anyway, we trim away the waist. Take your time. So that bucktail there. And all the time, making sure your thread's out the way. Looks fine. Wax on your thread, tighten up. Tighten up and tidy. 
and don't be shy with the head of the fly. It's part of it. Got an aiming point, that's what you want. Jungle caught, it's an optional, but the fly works without it. But we'll put them on. Got two jungle caught guys. It's got two small eyes here. And basically tie them but round about just the length of the body or so. On either side. These are not big eyes, but they're nice, nice enough. Make sure they're leveled up, they're both the same length. I think I've got one longer than the other, so let's just go back and move them to suit. That's it. And then we can carry one down, fold these back, just tidy the head area up, and break away the jungle cop, cut them away. Now I'm no, as long as they're tied back, I'm going to change the head. So I mean I'm going to brighten the head up, so I tie off, and then I've got the glow bright floss. The low bright for floss number four, it's really bright. So we put this on just to brighten the head up even more. You can change the colour of head by using this in the thread you use. So I'm going down, I'm coming up the head bit, and then what finish. Nice and tight. There we are. You can't see the proper shape of the fly because it's obviously the, the adapter's in the way. But what I normally do, um, I usually use for sp this is for speed. A lot of people ask me how do I get a nice shiny head. Now, two to three coats of clear varnish is fine as long as you get the time for that to happen. For to speed that process up, what I do is. I use the Loctite super glue, and now the reason it comes with this is the easy brush version. Now what happens with the super glue is it dries really quick, probably equivalent to one and a half times a coat of varnish. So, so it's like it dries really quick and gives you that. I mean you've got to still varnish it. It stays as bright as this because it dries quick. The color stays bright. See that super glue will dry within five five minutes or so. You coat a varnish on it. Come the end of the night, do another coat of varnish before you go to bed in the morning. It'll be perfect, and that will give you a lovely shiny head. Now, if you want to put a, the inner tubing in, put this other fly line here. So I've got my. Finish fly, this one's got no flash on it though, but it doesn't matter. So what I do is just melt the end and rotate the tube as you do that so it's even and then just blow this so it cools it down quicker. So you just slip this in at the back. So then that stops it at the back. Now I usually keep my finger on it. And then I trim away. And leave enough so that it basically when you heat it up, up against the tube. Which is a wee blow. There we are. So that basically puts the inner tubing in. Now for a lot of people, I wonder, I'll show you how. Got some nylon here. How do you use, I'll use this bright nylon so you can actually see what I'm doing? I don't use this when I'm fishing like uh, I use this nylon for eyes. But anyway, this is just a yellow nylon. If you imagine you've got your leader, you just put your nylon through, and then you would tie on your hook as normal. And then that would slip up into the back. Uh, basically, you can put a tube in as well. I'll we'll get some tubing just to show you. So, we've got some of this is a silicon tubing. This is a fluorescent orange. 
Uh, th this comes from Vane Yards, so you take a length out, so around about a short of an inch. And I'll take this one off, and I'll show you how I actually put the tubing on, because you can destroy a fly, try to get the tubing on, so you can. And what I need is a, a normal needle. And I'm doing a lot of tubes. Uh, this is what I sit down and do once I've tied them. So I've got just base. This is a, a needle. If you imagine this being a needle, so so I've got a tube here. Slip it. Just tighten this up. Just slip your tube on. Just set it on. So we've got our tube in where it'll be a, this is a silicon, you get this, you different types. And then all I do is move the hair away. And then I slide the tubing on. You can put a wee bit of moisture at the back. Now this way it's far easier. You can adjust that, but you can, with this tubing with it being hot, a fire orange like colour, it certainly brightens the fly up, as you can probably see. Now once you've obviously got the tube on light and you want to fish the fly, you've got your leader. So your leader goes through the tube from the front and then you would tie on a double a double or a whatever. I'll just quickly do this. Um do a blood knot. I usually do a top blood knot, so basically it does me. So once you've tied your, your hook on, this is a barbless uh, treble, but a double or a single can be used. It's very versatile, the tube. Now, the sleeve helps to keep the, 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 uh, the, the treble or the hook straight and it sits in. So basically, there's your leader, there's your fly. This is how you, you rig it up, as they would say, or put it together. And that's that's how, obviously, to set up your tube fly. Now these swim really well, so they do. So there's the one I tied. It's, it's dry now. Um, all you have to do is put a coat of varnish on it. Let's put this needle back on. Quick coat of harness. I mean, basically that that that'd be it. Another coat is nice. That just finishes it off. So, as I say, I usually do a coat. I allow this to dry, and before I go to my bed or later on, I'll give it another coat, and then the fly's finished. And there we are. And that's basically the, your junction shrimp and the tube fly. I mean, it doesn't look so good on there, I'll just try and hold it so you can see it. It's a nice pattern, uh, it's a good colour combination, you just kind of go far and wrong. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and as I say, that's it. It's rigged up with the, the orange tubing, nice and bright for this time of the year, the fish certainly can see it. And uh, So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, as I say, that's uh, the junction shrimp.